what's up guys it's Mike the smoking monkey welcome back or to the channel today I've got my buddy with me he's in his uh, Jeep Wrangler JK and they're actually very similar builds so they both have a lift they both got um, new tires and they both have a few other things I just recently did my control arms and since driving here for the short little drive because this is sort of a shakedown run since I first did my control arms and did all the new brackets and all of that so I just want to go out and test everything and make sure everything is as it should be and we don't have any issues. But honestly, driving here on the highway, this thing drives better than it's ever driven before. Uh, at low speeds, it still likes to wander because of the mud tires, but at highway speeds, it drives true and straight. It doesn't have any kind of pull. It doesn't have any kind of weird bumps, uh, squeaks or noises, and it honestly drives so much better. It drives one finger down the highway. You only need one finger to steer it. It's very effortless and I am sweating my balls off. So <laughs> let's go, let's start rolling because I got to turn on my uh, AC over here. Come on, I'm dying. There we go. So that's my AC for the day. Let's go. If you guys uh, have been following the channel for a bit, then you'll recognize this spot. We've been here, we've been here a couple times. So let's go, let's go uh, see what we can get into. Let's test out the new suspension. Well, not new suspension, we've tested the suspension, but let's test out the new control arms with the new suspension, see how everything runs, and let's go and have a good time. Hopefully we don't get too stuck because I'm still waiting for a winch line. I do have the old one, but as you guys remember, it is mended together, so I don't really want to use it. I have it if I need it, but hopefully we don't get stuck. So let's go out and let's have a good time. some pretty deep mud holes here today like this one that I'm going through right now is actually pretty deep usually and it did rain yesterday so I'm surprised that it dried up but it is crazy hot it is still about 35 degrees out so I'm not surprised but I am a little bit surprised <laughs> because it did rain quite a bit last night but as you can see it is bone dry out here Not too bad. I know there's a couple good climbs in here that we can try, so it won't be uh, at least that boring even though there is no mud. But I'm more interested to try the articulation and the climbs and stuff like that more than I am to go mudding. And I'll be quite honest with you, I wasn't looking forward to cleaning the mud today, so I'm pretty happy. I'm satisfied with how it looks. <laughs> Other than the fact that it is probably 40 degrees inside the car, or inside the Jeep I should say because of the black roof and the low airflow because we're going probably like 15 kilometers an hour right now but it is what it is gotta enjoy it while it lasts we don't get much summer here so I rather sweat than freeze so let's go so here they are guys here's the two Jeeps side by side very similar builds almost the same size so it'll be interesting to see how they both do today and so far the new control arms are treating me really well not having any issues at all like i said the highway drive was a lot more enjoyable than usual i didn't have any kind of issues driving up so it should be a lot better off-road as well and i didn't even notice that i didn't have a sway bar it got to the point where it was so stable it just felt great so we're gonna try going up this little hill right here it's nothing special it just loops right around in there so yeah, let's do this little climb, then we'll keep going and we'll try to find some more obstacles. Not too bad. I know it was a soft climb, it was nothing special, but it is the beginning of the trail and today is just a testing day so we don't want to go through anything too crazy but as you saw I almost just fell on my face walking up it so <laughs> it is a little steep uh, it is harder when it's wet 
but I guess we gotta deal with what we've got. And yeah, let's keep going and let's see what else we can find. Mechanical machine-like thing, the robots and people who are like robots. Do you have any fears about the, the future in your son? No, 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 no whatsoever. I, that's right, that. I, I don't, I don't think, I think that a, a human being, a human species will always control machines. I can never see machines taking over. As long as there's someone to sit, that has to sit and push the buttons and input the information. bottom out so hard over here on these like whoop de whoops or whatever you call them and now it honestly handles it like a dream When I say bottom out, I don't mean like bottom out on the belly pan or anything like that. I mean actually the suspension would bottom out and I would hit the bump stops every single time. So as you see now, I'm going up and down, up and down. It would bottom out every time it came down. And I haven't had the bump stop touch once. And I'm going a lot faster than I usually would, I'll tell you that much. So, so far so good. Uh, I know that that isn't just the control arms or the control arms might not even have anything to do with that. It's more the suspension. But I'll tell you, it does ride a lot better. It's like day and night since the last time that we've been out here. I found another little obstacle we can do. This one right here, it doesn't look too nuts, but you'll see, my, I'll have my buddy stand here at the bottom and you guys can see a little bit better what it actually does. Or what I'll do actually is I'll have you guys with me. We'll do the obstacle and then I'll tape my buddy doing it so you guys can see exactly what it's like from the outside. Now I'll show you guys what it actually looks like from the outside because it's actually pretty fun to do and it is a little bit challenging there's like a little bit of a climb like a little bit of a, a step that you got to walk up but it should be all good so I think he'll make it I made it it's not that hard but it is a little bit of a, a bump that you got to do you got to kind of run up to it right about there See, that's that step I'm talking about right there. And you want to watch your wheels on this end right here because you can come right off the edge. Everybody's out having a good time today. So yeah, like I said, it's not a challenging part of the trail, but it is a fun part. And it is something that I like to do usually when I'm out here because it's just unique. Now the next section that we're gonna go do is that climb that we were doing last time when we came out here and we were testing the suspension uh, in the winter. So remember when I first got my lift kit and then we first took it out, this is where we went. So I'm gonna go to that same spot where nobody was able to make it up that one hill 
and we'll see how bad it is right now during the summertime. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be simple to do, but you never know, so let's go check it out. It's been about 15 minutes just wandering through the forest here and I'm not gonna lie it's not that easy to find this thing in the summertime with everything overgrown <laughs> um, yeah uh, I'm gonna keep looking as you can tell it is like a nice tight ATV trail there's nowhere really else to go but follow the trail but the trails do split at certain sections and sometimes they split into three or four different ways and when there's no foliage, you can actually see where everything is and where everything goes. So you can kind of find your way. Not right now. <laughs> Not so much. So we're going to keep wandering around a little bit. Hopefully we find our way and we find what we're looking for. But if not, then uh, I guess we'll go look for some other obstacles because, like I said, it's not that easy to find. And I don't know how long it's going to take us. <laughs> so yeah. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, suspension is working great, the control arms are working great. Well, it looks like we made it to the dunes. I wasn't planning on coming to the dunes, but I guess this is where the trail ended. It is what it is, we're here now, so let's see if we can make it to the top. Uh, I did not air down, which would help us a lot, but... Somehow we got up. Not bad. And this is the tallest one here. So I'll hop out for a second just to show you guys the area if you haven't been here before. But I will not be sharing this location because right now we are technically trespassing. Like I said, I wasn't planning to come in here. I didn't come in here on purpose, but we're here now. So I will show you guys. It is pretty cool. It is a nice spot to come out. Lots of people bring their ATVs and their Jeeps. As you can see, there's another guy that's gonna attempt to climb right now. And he's flying. He is flying in that thing. Yeah, he ripped one of his fender flares off, but uh, that's the name of the game, I guess, right? Just hear like Metallica going. <laughs> hey, big guy. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so far so good. Like I said, it's a light day. It's an easy trail. It's nothing crazy, nothing special. But we wanted to come out and at least test our rigs and see what's up. He just picked this thing up not too long ago. So I don't know if he's been out with it yet. And we just did all the control arms and everything on mine. But yeah, so far so good. It's a good day. So let's go explore a little bit more and see what else we can find. There is actually one issue that I've spotted. And it is... The same thing, the seal is leaking on this side. If I check on the knuckle here, it's a little bit wet and it is gear oil. I don't know why it would be there. I don't know why it's still leaking on this side. It's not leaking on that side. That side is still good. And we did both sides, both seals. They both went in flush. They both went in good. So I don't know why it would be leaking. If you guys have any, uh, any kind of insight or any information then let me know because I'm definitely interested to find out because I don't want to rip the whole thing apart to find out that the seal is still good because I'm pretty sure it is still good so I don't want to rip it apart for that so let me know what else it could be or what the issue could be or maybe I overfilled it I don't know let me know what you guys think but for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up I just sprayed it off with some brake clean so that it is not oily anymore and at least now I'll know if it's actually coming back or coming out again so yeah, we did go for a drive, went for quite a long drive actually after I did the seals and parked the car there or parked the Jeep there for two days. Nothing came out. 
and now we have a little bit of a leak so I don't know if it's because of uh, us going off-road and things getting jostled around or what the issue is but let me know what you guys think because I don't want to rip it all apart for no reason it's a uh, quite a lot of work and uh, yeah so we'll take it easy we'll keep going we'll have a little bit more fun and we'll see if uh, we can find more obstacles and uh, more fun stuff to do but that guy with that uh, Wrangler there he is uh, going pretty damn hard <laughs> And that's all the mudding I'm doing because as I just showed you guys that axle steel is leaking again so I don't really want to go through any puddles or anything like that so we can at least watch my buddy go through the puddle and make a nice big mess so let's see that at least the guy was going hard and uh, there's his license plate holder it's really dry out here it usually isn't this dry it's actually like desert dry out here never seen it like this and I'm surprised, like it rained a lot last night. But let's go and let's have some more fun. So I didn't make it, uh, obviously you need a locker for that section, it is a little bit hectic and I also heard a little bit of crunching, I don't know what that was, I think it was my fender, but this section is a little bit, uh, getting through that por uh, portion right there is a little hard, especially for me without lockers. So yeah, he doesn't have lockers either, so he knows he's not going to make it either. So we'll keep going and we'll find something else to play with. So we're back on the ATV trails and we're looking to see if we can find that climb. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find it, uh, but we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking and I've been thinking about that axle tube leaking or the axle seal leaking and the only thing I can think of is maybe one of my, or not one of, but my front breather is plugged. But I don't understand how it would be plugged since my breather is routed all the way to the top of the radiator at the front. Uh, so I will take a look at it. I'm gonna see if there's any kind of weird uh, Cuts or notches or leaks in it or anything like that Because we did get water in the diff last time So I'm not sure if that was through the axle breather or through the broken seal uh, So let's see I guess we're gonna keep driving once we get off the trail We'll check that knuckle again see if it's still wet after I cleaned it just now 
and if it is still wet then we know we've got an issue and then I guess I'll start looking at the axle breather tube and go from there but if you guys have any information or any kind of tips or tricks or anything uh, or what the culprit could be then let me know because I'm at a loss and it seems like every time I fix something on this Jeep it just comes back to kick me in the pants so yeah <laughs> is it time to go buy a brand new Jeep because that's really how I'm feeling uh, I don't want to deal with any more issues or any more problems even buying a two-year-old Jeep I don't trust anymore I don't want to I don't know what somebody did to it I don't know what it's been through I kind of just want to go pick myself up a brand new Jeep uh, sell this thing and just have something reliable to go take on the trails and at least if something breaks I know I broke it and it's not because it's been neglected for 20 years and the guy before me wasn't taking care of his Jeep yeah well we are definitely leaking diff fluid I'm at a loss I'm not sure why we would be leaking but we are leaking so uh, we do need to address that but the breather looks to be in one piece doesn't look like anything is out of place so I don't understand why the breather would be giving us an issue there I don't think it's the breather like I said it's connected all the way right here this is my axle breather right here and I don't think it would be clogged I I'll blow it out when I get home but I don't think it's clogged honestly I don't know guys if you guys have any information let me know but you can see it's all over my tire there it's all over the knuckle so definitely there is an issue there there is something that we need to address <clears throat> but I just did the seal so I don't know what what could it be so that's pretty much the end of the trail uh, I don't think I'll be going back in and doing a little bit more because we are leaking from the axle seal I don't know I'm not sure what that is but any of you guys that have outer axle seals how do you tell if the inner axle seal is leaking if you have an outer axle seal because you won't see anything seep out and at this point I'm thinking I might just get outer axle seals to seal everything in and that little bit of fluid that comes out isn't gonna come out I'll check my levels every now and then and I will at least be able to see if there's anything wrong with the level or if there's anything getting in it when I do check the level but having the outer axle seals will then seal it from getting any water in the diff like we did last time and hopefully we won't have any issues but for now I cleaned it off again So it's nice and dry, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to tell if it's leaking anymore. So let's go for a drive, let's go drive home. We've got about uh, an hour drive, so about 100 kilometers to go. And hopefully we make it home without any leaks. So fingers crossed, let's go and let's see what happens. So we're back now, uh, I'm pretty much almost at my house. I cleaned the Jeep, I washed it out, and we are still leaking. We do still have that leak on the driver's side axle. Uh, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna have to deal with that. But the other thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is my battery, uh, my battery, my fuse popped for my cluster and my radio. Uh, it's, it, it's the same fuse for interior lights, cluster and radio. Uh, I don't know why it popped. I replaced it with three other fuses and they all popped the second I put them in. Uh, so there must be a short somewhere. I don't know where. I'm going to have to hunt it down. Uh, that will be done in the next video I will be hunting down that short and I will be looking for exactly what's causing that issue because I need a uh, I need interior lights and I need a radio uh, it actually does help me out quite a bit <laughs> and I think that the only other thing we're gonna need to do is check out uh, what that seal is why, why it's leaking and I honestly don't know why it's leaking I really it boggles my mind because I fixed it I did everything the only thing I can think of is maybe there's some kind of a nick or a warp in the axle tube and that's why it's not sealing properly which is why they maybe put so much silicone in uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about check out my last video when I did the actual axle seal somebody put a ton of silicone inside the axle and I wasn't sure why I think this might be why uh, but I'm also thinking I might just get outer axle seal tubes so let me know what you guys think if you guys have outer axle seal tubes how do you tell if your inner seals are gone you can't really tell it it doesn't leak out does it so if I get outer axle seal tubes and it'll seal everything from getting any dirt inside the axle and it'll keep the fluid from coming out so I'm thinking that's gonna solve my issue 
I don't want to tear the axle apart, put another seal in there and have it leak on me and find out that something is warped or something is not aligned or something is not right because I lined up both of those seals the same and they were fine for the first day and now they're leaking. So let's hop out, let's see if it's leaking again because I just washed the Jeep. So you can see she is clean, but now it's clean. So I don't know, on the way home it was leaking, but now it's clean after I drove it home from the car wash. And if it was leaking that bad, it should keep leaking. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's, it's not leaking right now. So I'm thinking maybe I overfilled it and for some reason it was coming out. Because if you see where the fill is, the fill is below where the axle tubes are. So if you fill it a little bit too much, it might start coming out through the axle tubes. I don't know why it would do that since you have a seal. But let's go and let's keep driving it for a day or two and we'll see. We'll test it out. I'll leave it overnight and see if it leaks out. And when I go to find out where that short is, we'll take another look at that and see if we need to get outer axle seal tubes or what. But you can even see this plastic seal here. This thing doesn't even want to move. And usually those things slide around pretty easy. So I don't know how well you can see, but that one moves freely, that one moves easy, and that one isn't leaking. This one is jammed in there and it's sealed and it is leaking. So I don't know what the issue might be. Uh, I guess I'll have to tear it apart to take a look. But for the time being, it is clean, it is done. And the fuse that was popping on me was, and the fuse that keeps popping on me is this one, number 25. So that is this fuse right here. And I honestly don't know why it keeps popping or what the issue is right there. Sorry, it is number 24. Not number 25, it's number 24. And that is a 10 amp fuse. And it did keep popping on me. I don't know why it kept popping. I'm gonna see if I have a spare and I'm gonna try to do it one more time right now. But the only other thing I can do is follow the wires back from the fuse block here and see if there's a short somewhere. So I managed to find the fuse. I already know this isn't gonna work, but let me try it just in case. So as soon as we stick this in, ah, I didn't pop this time. Okay, now let's try inside. Looks like it works. There you have it. I couldn't tell you what it was. I couldn't tell you the reason. Let me start her up just to make sure. Well, dome lights work. The cluster works. Exhaust sounds great. Everything looks like it, it works good. No issues here. I don't know what the issue was, but I can tell you guys, I went through four different fuses back at the trail before I left, trying to fix this. And I did try a couple 20 amps. I also tried a couple 10 amps and it calls for a 10 amp and unfortunately it didn't do the job. Now it works. I moved some wires, I jiggled some wires around, maybe something got pinched and I don't know. But you can see there's one, there's two, three, and four. All four of those popped. Now it works. I don't know why it works, but let's close it up. Let's call it a day. And the only other thing I need to worry about now 
is that axle seal but it's not leaking currently which I don't know maybe everything fixed itself on the way home I couldn't tell you I really don't know <laughs> uh, I'll keep you guys updated as always but uh, if you see this thing for sale you know why <laughs> it's not because I don't love my TJ and it's not because uh, I don't want to keep driving the TJ it actually drives better than ever and I would love to actually keep it for as long as I can but if every single time I take it out I got to throw some kind of repair at it it's not uh, not gonna work out for me and uh, I'm gonna have to get something newer I'm gonna get something newer eventually I was planning to keep this and turning it into a buggy and just making it into like a, a juggy like a Jeep buggy type of deal but uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see because currently she keeps giving me issues everything fixed itself right now but I'll keep you guys updated on that axle seal and let you know what happens there but so far so good I think we're all right and we fixed that short somehow so thank you guys for sticking around thank you guys for watching if you're new around here jump down there hit that subscribe button hit that like button and don't forget to jump on that notification bell so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos because trust me i've got lots more coming your way and next week i'm planning to take this thing up to ardbeg where we actually had that big mishap and we had to spend the night uh that trail is not gonna win we're gonna go back and we're gonna have a good time and yeah it's gonna be great so lots of jeeps lots of people and there's going to be lots of content so hopefully you guys will be there with me and until next time guys ride safe out there peace